Well, my name is Jennifer McVeigh. I work for the Government Economic Service, which is the main body that employs all public sector economists across all departments. And at the moment, I'm working for the Forestry Commission as an economist. In the post I'm in right now, I think my, my main task will be to advise on government policy, and that just means looking at the costs and benefits of all government policies and advising the government on which option to take. And when I was really young, I always wanted to be a writer. That was just, uh, I always wanted to do that. And then later on, I wanted to be a journalist. And I think eventually at one point, I wanted to be a lawyer as well. So that changed quite dramatically. <laughs> when I was younger, when I was at school, I went to the, I had a trip to the Scottish Parliament. And I think that quite inspired me. I was really interested in the work the MPs were doing and the fact that they were having a real impact on people's lives. And so that did inspire me to do something to work with the government. I think I did have that in my mind since then, that I would quite like to do that. Uh, I suppose as well, when I was younger, I had an aunt and uncle who lived abroad. They would always have great stories about the people they'd met and the places they'd seen when they came back to visit. So that gave me a bit of inspiration to go and do a bit of travelling and study languages. At university, I studied um, economics with French and Spanish. And really, at the time when I was leaving university, we had a lot of um, people coming in to give us talks about career options. And somebody came in from the Government Economic Service, and I quite fancied the job. I quite liked the idea of the things they were talking about, mainly because they, gave, they told us that you could do just about anything, really, because government economists are involved in every single government policy across all government departments. And at the time, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do, or even if I definitely wanted to be an economist. So I quite liked the idea that I could get into this profession, work for this organisation, and get the chance to move about and try a lot of different things, and hopefully then find something that I was that I definitely wanted to do. It is quite a difficult um, process applying to get into the civil service. I'm on the Fast Stream program, and that was really hard to get into. There's loads of people apply to it and the whole application process is really rigorous. There's two separate assessment centres which assess you for hours and hours and ends in all different aspects such as presentation skills, writing, all these sort of things, decision making and creativity. So you need to really be prepared to go through all of that. Um, it takes a long time, it took about a year all in to apply. And on top of that, you do have to have a degree, so you have to do all the work for the degree as well. But I think, though, it's really rewarding if you do go through it and you get in and you feel like you've really achieved something. So that was quite a high, I think. I do like, though, the fact that I can move about and I can try different things. I've already done two completely different jobs in two diff completely different cities, totally different setups, and I'm, I'm only in my second year in the job. So I like that, that there's a lot of different options for the future. Um, I also like the fact that we get a lot of training, so there's always the opportunity to go and learn a bit more. So I would quite like to do a master's degree and maybe get a promotion in the future. I think it really, I would like to look back and think that I did that, I achieved something, moved on a bit in my career.